Hello and welcome to the Olivier Show. I got an email from somebody called Zhao. Hello. It says, um, what's up Olivier? I was looking for your portrait video you made a while back, but I saw you changed your channel. And I was wondering if or when you had time, could you do a series of how to paint realism portraits with spray paint in detail? Like how to blend the skin tones, um, how to choose color skin tones, how to paint African Americans and how to paint Caucasians. It's something I really want to learn. Thanks for your time. So for cool, I'll do a video about this because uh, I've been focusing on uh, building stuff lately and I thought I could do a bit of a painting thing. So I'm going to paint the beautiful Rachel McAdams and I've already started because I've actually filmed this and it's, oh my God, the video is going to be about five days long. And I thought, hmm, let's do this again. So what I've, what I've done, I've done the outside, I've taken out the inside and I'm going to redo this so then I can go quicker, hopefully. <coughs> so I've used the projector to trace everything quickly. And then what I'm going to do now is just go basically through the, principle, the principles that I use on all my portraits, regardless of the skin tone. Okay, so I always pick one color so it could be a light color or dark color and then i use the other one so we're gonna use we're gonna say we're gonna start with dark and then we'll go with light afterwards and then work on the details as a lot of you know i'm a big fan of the astro cap but i realized do you know what i'm not doing myself any favors just using an astro cap especially on something this big it's just ugh, it just takes forever so I'm going to tell my ego to go aside for a minute and I might try skin, um, skinny caps for a while and see if I get on with it. But I think for something of this size, yeah. Okay, so let's start with the dark. So the first thing, I'm sure you might have seen this in some of my other videos. What I do, I always tip the can on one side or the other and I paint like this. Because by doing this, it allows me to um, allows me to have a, a clean line and a fade. So if you turning around, you're still getting the same effect, and then you can fill in whatever, and then you get something clean. And this is the main thing you do when you're blending, because you're gonna find in here you want to keep this as clean as possible then you want to blend into something that there they aren't any other lines. So opposed to start there and press. That's the thing, you also want to press fully. If you don't press fully, you're going to get a splatter, which can be cool, but in this case, you don't want that. And this is where using an Astro cap only doesn't really work because by holding back, I'll get a splatter or by pressing fully, I get too much of a, a big fade. So it's got its place, don't get me wrong, like here for example. I use my trusty Astro Cap. Actually, this one's a bit crooked. And then I'm getting nice, generous blends, as opposed to using a skinny cap. And the blends, I literally have to make them myself gradually and you see like for here you can see the difference you know the fade is really small compared to this one that's massive so i think they both work and from now i might try and use a skinny and a fat like i used to before and i think it probably worked a bit better okay so let's get back to the topic so what i do is i find one color so first i'll get Kind of like an average color, <coughs> an average color uh, everywhere, and then I'll use, in this case, a dark. Sometimes I start with uh, a, a bright, a light color, and then go dark. Nice and I'm just going around all the places that I can see are a bit darker. Right, I'll speed this up.
Okay, so now that the dark tone is done, I'm going to do the light tone. Um, the main colors, to be honest, the main colors I use all the time tend to be these ones. So you've got, um, these are the ones that I always use. Uh, Tana Brown, Dingo Brown, uh, this is MTN94. Uh, so you've got Tana Brown, Dingo Brown, uh, Cafe Brown. Um, this is not Cafe, but I run out. Uh, Marron Rubble or Bean Brown. Uh, Judea Brown, which is a transparent color, uh, very cool. You can apply in layers. It's really nice. Uh, what else? What else? Uh, gray. Funny enough, it's always kind of nice to use gray on portraits. Um, they're transparent black, transparent white, black, white. I ran out of white, but whatever. Mm, depending on the on the eye color. In her case, we got kind of green brown, like mine. So we won't be using blue. Uh, a bit of red for the lips, and yeah, uh, this one is quite cool for hair, for blonde hair, uh, Safari Brown. There's one that I'm really missing, even more than white, is Jema Brown, which is kind of like um, a mix between this color, this color, and white, and it's perfect for like the highlight on the skin, regardless of the skin color, it's just really, really awesome. Love that color. To be honest, I can do most portraits regardless of the person's complexion with Cafe Brown, uh, Tana Brown, Marron Dingo, and Gemma Brown. These four colors, and obviously black and white, these colors, they're really, really good, really versatile. Let's put this back in here. So now we're gonna use Tana Brown. I'm gonna sort of blend everything. Okay, because I don't, have the, I don't have the color that I wanted, I'm gonna go with um, transparent black, sorry, transparent white. As I said before, whenever you're using transparent black or white, you really wanna go kind of easy on um, how much you use, because if you use too much, the saturation or the colors get reduced massively. And then you end up with a piece that looks a bit like black and white pretty much like a ghost effect not so nice I've actually ruined some of my work by using too much transparent white or black so to be honest if I had white I'd rather use white right now as opposed to transparent white it's a bit more drastic but at least I'm very careful how much I apply as opposed to this you tend to think ah it's okay and you step back and I would do so <laughs> okay, so now I'm here with the skin tone. I might add a little bit of transparent black, but I'll keep this for after. I'll probably come back with a bit of brown. So for now, let's get the lips in uh, and then the eyes.
Okay, at this point, two things you need to get better details. One, you can use a stencil cap. You can have a look at some of my previous videos. I've done um, one out of like um, a cleaning thingy cap. But I don't have one, so I'll use this. Put it in there. And two, most importantly, one of those. Because it's freezing in here. <coughs> Okay, so now the face is done, um, I'm just going to work on the hair, which is my favorite bit, and that will be the end of the video. It's actually quite interesting that um, this woman, Rachel McAdams, looks so much like Heather Graham. And to be honest, I was kind of sorting a couple of things out, and I was thinking, man, it really looks like Heather Graham. By narrowing this down, by chiseling a, um, a jaw a bit, it just turned like her. I mean, now it turned like uh, Rachel, also I think. And uh, it's interesting how just really subtle differences will make a person look like another one. So, it's all about the detail. Okay, so a quick note on the hair. You kind of, <coughs> you want to show a nice body of hair, but at the same time, you want to have a few rival hairs because otherwise it just looks too clean. And also another thing as well is to use different colors. It doesn't matter what color um, hair this person has, you need to have a lot of different colors going on. The only time you don't have a lot of different colors is if the hair is like jet black. And I find if it's jet black, it's ba basically black, transparent black, sorry, a black, transparent white, white, and sometimes um, a bit of blue or something, or gray. But it's, um, as far as the colors, not many colors. Um, if it's blonde hair, if it's um, red hair, love red hair, it's so nice to paint. Um, yeah, if it's all the other colors, then it's, uh, it's got a lot of colors going on. It's not just blonde hair, it's not just yellow or something. Otherwise it looks a bit too flat. Cool. I kind of like this transparency stuff, so I'm not gonna go too crazy on the hair. I think that's me done.
Okay, thanks for watching this video. I hope it was useful to you and I hope Jaro answered your questions. Please subscribe and share this video and let me know in the comments what you want to see next and I'll do a video about that. It'll be probably about, you know, one or two videos about building something, one, one or two about painting something, whatever, that kind of thing. So I'll mix the two so everybody's happy. See you guys next time. I'll try and get the next video out Monday. So it's kind of every Monday kind of thing. I'll see if I can do that. <laughs> okay, guys, see you soon.